Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be cooking up an absolutely amazing hot dog recipe. I don't know what to call it yet, <laughs> but it's amazing. Let's get going. So I'm gonna be cooking these dogs up on the Sentara Outdoors Hibachi Camp Grill. Now, originally I wanted to introduce this grill to you guys while I was out on one of my overland camping trips, but Jeep went down. I had to do some pretty significant repairs on it and I made the decision to just kind of skip this desert season to do a lot of upgrades to the old XJ. So I'm probably going to miss out on the Sierra season, but I'll definitely be back for desert season and we're going to be doing a lot of uh, camping outdoors for you out in the desert and ultimately in the mountains. So let's get going. So as you can see, this grill is bare bones. It's just very, very basic. It's a true hibachi, but a very high quality hibachi. So as you can see, these are red hot dogs, natural casings that have been dyed red. The company's out of Maine that makes these and they've been making these for 150 years. And I've been dying to try these things out. Actually, I've had them before, uh, really good high quality hot dogs. But again, it's just that tradition. The company, uh, their, their story is they started dyeing the casings to make these stand out from the other hot dogs, or frankfurters they called them. But uh, a lot of people were accusing them of just trying to conceal gray old meat by doing it this way. Um, if that was the case 150 years ago, I can tell you that no one's getting away with anything like that nowadays with all the regulations. But I can assure you, I almost dropped one. I can assure you these things are really good. And if you're interested at all, the link down below where I bought these. So we're just going to cook these over direct heat on the old camp grill here. So for this cook, obviously, I'm just cooking two hot dogs. So I only have half the grill filled with the charcoal just in this area. But this will be a nice area to keep things warm. All right, these are done. I'm gonna set them off to the side here. So for the buns, I'm using brioche split top buns. Give these a quick toast here. All right. This is a jalapeno cayenne cheese. Go ahead and get the lid on for a few minutes to get that cheese melted. Let's go ahead and build these dogs. So rather than coming up with a bunch of elaborate sauces and everything in this recipe, I wanted to keep, you know, camping in mind since this is my camping grill. So everything I'm using is just readily available at your grocery store. Let's we'll start off with a couple sauces. Garlic aioli sauce. And a creamy sriracha sauce. And this is nice just because it, it's basically like a sriracha mixed with mayo, but I like the texture and it kind of tones down the sriracha just a tad. The next part of this was inspired by the Sonora dogs in Mexico. And what I did was I bought a bag of uh, Terra chips, which are like potato chips, but they're made with different types of sweet potatoes and parsnip and some of them are like stained with beet juice, but they're really, really good. Seasoned with uh, like sea salt. It's just gonna give me a crunchy component and also a nice salty component here and, and some cool color. But I love crunchy textures, whether it's in a hamburger or a hot dog. And there we are, I present to you <laughs> the amazing hot dog. Let's give this a try. Mm. 
check, <laughs> just check that out. It, it, it looks unreal. And whenever I see these bright red hot dogs like this, it reminds me of the old school cartoons. I mean, like the from the 40s, you know, the Bugs Bunny and stuff. They're always eating it was like bright red hot dogs. Mm. So in Maine, these dogs are actually referred to as red snappers. That natural casing just snap right when you bite into them. I'm loving that crunch. The sauces are really good. I mean that the aioli is nice and you know garlicky. The sriracha is providing some heat. The cheese is probably providing a little heat, but it's not too much. Everything's toned down. Um, these dogs, though, I mean, these taste like really high quality German Franks. Good, good dogs. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Um, be prepared to start seeing this on some overland adventures. I've got big plans for the overlanding stuff. I just need to get my Jeep back. It's all fixed, but right now I'm working on performance stuff. So it's, it, it'll be exciting for me at least. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, notification bell, thumb up the video, and I will see you on the next recipe. Cheers. So I pretty much created this recipe with camping in mind. So everything I'm using is ready to...